a very happy happy morning to all my dear children welcome back to your computer class in the last lecture in your chapter number 3 that is features of word 2016 we have studied the spelling and grammar then how to that we will improve our vocabulary then change case we have studied all this in our video lesson 1 of this chapter today we are moving forward with the part 2 let's see what we have today Oh, bullets and numbering. Now, what are bullets and what are numbering? A bullet is a dot or a symbol that makes an important line of information. That makes an important line. वो एक mark करता है an important line of information. A bulleted list is usually used when the order of items in a list does not matter. It is used when the order of items in a list does not matter. Now, children, when you are writing, you are making a list. For your Ganpati preparations at home, okay. So, आप क्या करते हो? One by one लिखते जाते हो, okay. And you make a sign for that, an arrow sign or a dot sign, something like that. That is known as bullet. Nothing else. In computer also, it is known as a bullet. जब हम कोई list बनानी होती है, unordered list, okay. That is known as bullet. By default, PowerPoint uses a simple black dot as a bullet, okay. Now, what is a numbered list? You have studied what is a bullet list. जब आपको unordered list बनानी होती है, a sign which we make in the beginning of the sentence. Okay, that is known as a bullet, a dot or a symbol. Now, what is a numbered list? A numbered list is used for listing when the uh, order of items is important. When we have to maintain a specific order in the items for the list, we have to maintain a specific order. We create a numbered list. Okay, dear children. That is, for example, a sequence of even or steps. Now, dear children, when you are writing in your signs, now uh, you are writing the experiments. So you have to write the experiments in in the set or uh, steps. Okay, one by one, you have to write the steps. First, you will draw the diagram. Then you will do this and all that. So you have to write steps in an ordered way. Okay, for that purpose, a numbered list is being. Use understood the difference between bulleted list and numbered list. Bulleted list is made for unordered uh, items or unordered lines. It is a dot or a symbol, and a numbered list is made so that we can list, we can write in an order. We can write the steps in an order. Understood, dear children? Clear? Next. Now in the word document, I will show you how to create a bullet list, how to change the bullet list, how to remove the bullet, and how to create a numbering list. Okay, children, come on, let's see. Children, this is your word document. Okay, I have typed here two small paragraphs for you. Okay, now how you will create a bullet list in these two paragraphs? For suppose, now first I have to select it. Okay, then. I will move on to the home tab. Okay, first I have to select the text. Then I will move on to the home tab. Then in this paragraph section, there is bullets. I will click here. Okay, then see these are the types of bullet. As you can see in the background, the bullets are being changed. Different different shapes I am giving, and different different bullets are being changed. See. If this is, if I can put this also, or I can put a tick mark as a bullet also. Wait, see, clear. I have changed. I have created a bullet. Okay. Now, if for uh, if students, I have want to remove this bullet. So what will I do? I will again select it. I will go to this option, and I will just select none. That is removing the bullet. Okay, dear children, understood how to add a bullet and how to remove a bullet. Now, if I want to define a new bullet, what will I do? I will again go to this menu. Here you can see define new bullet. See here you will click on symbols. Then these are the different types of bullets. These are the different types of symbols we are having in Word document, and this also you can add as a bullet. For suppose, if I am adding this as my bullet, okay, then okay. See, the bullets have been appeared here. Okay, dear children. 
okay now i will again show you how i will remove this bullet okay i will just select the text okay then i will again go to this menu then uh, see recently used bullet it is appeared here then i will just click on none option see dear children okay how you will add the bullet how we will define a new bullet and how you will remove the bullet all this is clear to you now how we can create a numbered list jab humko items order mein likhni hogi when we have to list the items in an order way like when we have to write the events or when we have to write the steps okay how we will do that we will just select the whole text again then just this uh, just close to this there is a numbering create a numbered list click the arrow for more numbering formats okay can you see that very clearly i will just again click that then if i want this type of list or i want this type of numbered list i will just click here see one or two is been appeared here clear now if i want to again re again remove this i will just uh, select it then i will just click on none is it clear to you children how you will create a bullet list and how you will create a numbered list and how you will remove them okay let's move on to our ppt now what are symbols symbols are signs or special characters that can be inserted in a word document now symbols are some of uh, signs or some special characters that are inserted in a word document symbols such as heart stars arrows can be inserted and formatted in the document just like a regular text each format each font has a separate symbols okay now uh, if you are doing your max problem okay how you will insert plus minus or how you will insert less than greater than then uh, there are some other symbols also which you can insert in the word document i will show you how you can insert it first you have to remember this symbols are signs or special characters that can be inserted in the word document wo kya hai koi sign hai ya koi special character hai jo hum word document mein insert kar sakte hain is it clear to you okay let's move on to our word document see this is our word document now if you want to add the symbol i will go to the insert option that is the insert tab then here you can see there is symbol you can see that add symbols that are not on your keyboard we can add the symbols which are not on our keyboard but are there in the word document clear i will just click it here see here are the different type of symbols which you can add multiply less than greater than then uh, divide these all are the symbols and if you want more symbols also see here are the different symbols these are the signs or the special characters which we can add in the word document if i want to add a symbol of right right okay then insert close see here you can see the symbol is being added now you will move the cursor where you want to add a symbol okay Okay dear children here is a worksheet time you have to do on page number 34 in your textbook now what is the first question name the tab and the group that has the following commands the first one is change case now we have already studied in practical the change case is available in the home tab and is in the font group it is available in the home tab and is in the font group you can write it along with me change case is available in the home tab and in the font group okay the next one is find now find tab is available in the home tab and in the editing group find tab is available in the home tab and in the editing group the next one is a spelling and grammar command the spelling and grammar command is available in the review tab and in the proofing group is available in the review tab and in the proofing group the other three you will do it on your own while watching the video okay the next one question 2 a sign or a special character that can be inserted in a word document ma'am i have already studied tell me fast 
Yes, very good. Symbols. The first one is symbols. Symbols are the sign or special character that can be inserted in a word document. Next, a dot or a symbol that marks an important line of information. This also we studied just now. Tell me fast. A dot or a symbol kya hai? Bullets. What were they? Bullets. So you will just write bullets. Okay, in the second one. Third one, to improve vocabulary by providing a list of synonyms and antonyms. What were they? How we can improve our vocabulary? By thesaurus. By thesaurus. In the third one, you will write thesaurus. Fourth one, to locate a specific word or text in a document. To locate a specific word, hum log kis se locate kar sakte hai? How we can look at that? With the help of the find command. With the help of the find command. You will write here find command. Okay, dear children? Is it clear to you? And the last one, you will do it on your own. Changes lowercase character to uppercase and uppercase characters to lowercase. You will do it. You will find it. The answer from the video. And you will do it on your own in the textbook. I hope this chapter is clear to you children. I will be sending you the notes of this chapter as well along with this video. You have to complete it in a very good handwriting in your computer notebook. Till then, bye-bye. God bless you.